Okay, here we are playing some more Mega Man Maker, and we are playing Circus Charlie on the NES by Oscar, and yeah, we'll be playing this, and we'll be playing another stage from Oscar here, I'm not sure the name of it, um, it was called, yeah, Lolo Lo's Castle, that's what it was, yeah, and yeah, I have already, oh my goodness, uh, I've already played these levels, um, yeah, I have to redo them because I messed up the recording again, so yeah, I'll not be doing this blind. But yeah, um, like, I'm not too excited by, well, at least not this stage. The castle, or Lolo Lo's castle there was kind of decent, you know, I think. Um, this level here, the circus, is very repetitious, I thought, or feel like. Um, it's just, you know, you have a bunch of these hoops, I guess, that you're jumping since you're in a circus or <laughs> whatever. Um, so yeah, there is that, and you know, you get to the end, and now we have another segment here where you basically just yeah, walk from left to right and dodge grenades, and it's like, yeah, it's kind of pointless, almost like. I definitely think that you should have done something more with this Oscar. I know that you're, you know, recreating stages, but this is just, yeah, this is just kind of lame, to be honest. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. It will be much more fun in the low, low, low castle, because there we have some things going on at the very least. This is, yeah, I think this speaks for itself. <laughs> just very, yeah, very stale. Um, and yeah, I sound harsh, I realize that, but really I think there is no other way for me to get my point across here, like... Yes, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the same thing over and over. Yeah, and... Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll just cut out. See you in a sec. Okay, now you just gonna remember here. Yeah, same thing twice. And a third time. I forgot it happened that many times. Yeah, see, that one is easy because they don't overlap each other. But yeah, see, like, why why are we doing this this many times? Like, <laughs> it's not... Yeah, I mean, I, I know I sound like a freaking douche, but, like, yeah. Seriously, that needs to be switched up. It's just so dull. Like, seriously. And, yeah, you know, same here. Like, there's a firewall chasing you, but it doesn't matter. It can't catch up to you. Like... Honestly, I think, uh, Oscar, you really need to do more than this. This is just... Yeah, it's just feel... It feels just like, you know... You wanted to get done with it as fast as possible and, you know... You know... Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, what a downer video from me. <laughs> Usually I'm not this negative in my commentary, but, like, I, I really don't think this is good. Like, this is not good stage design here. It's just boring. Like, seriously. I know you're copying and all, but this needed to have more change in it. That's pretty much the end of the line there, or the bottom line. So yeah, honestly I can't wait to be done with this one. <laughs> can't wait for it to be over. And see, same here. You just pressed the button. Jeez. <laughs> But once again, the low, 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 low castle, the low, low and la, la, la castle uh, will be much better than this one. So yeah, that's why I mainly did this one first because yeah, it's so yeah, so repetitious and yeah, just not not very fun at all. Like I I almost want to download it, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, I'll just leave it like this. Uh, I, I mean, it's not a bad stage necessarily, it's just boring. Like, yeah. Okay, well, I'll stop. I'll stop bitching, I'm sorry for bitching so much, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's get to some fun stages here by Oscar instead. Let's get to the next one here. Let me just get the ID. Whoops, not my profile. God. We're going to play Oscar. There we go. Yeah, so Castle Low 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 Stage. And this one I'll probably upload in the end here. Um, as you can see, I just reset all the uh, votes here. Um, so yeah, this stage is much better than the last one. 
like much much better. It's still nothing awesome, I wouldn't say, but uh, it's, you know, it's an okay level. Huh, this little castle part here looks pretty nifty. And yeah, we have these goodies up here. And there is nothing up there. Um, I'm pretty sure anyway. I believe I checked it when I played it last time. Yeah, we have this. Like, I'm not sure. Like, I don't, I don't know where this is from. Like, I don't recognize the stage. Um, like, even though I have played the low, low games. Um, but, you know, we have a bunch of teleporters in here. Um, with, you know, things to get. Um, but, you don't have to do them. You can just skip all of these, you know, extra teleporters here. So it's basically just like, for people who wants to, you know, just run around, you know, try and find things. So yeah, there, yeah, you don't have to do this, but it's here if you want to. It's, I, I don't know, like, where, where, <laughs> where is this stage from? Uh, is it like, oh yeah, now we're here again. Well, that's weird. I thought you would actually have to. Okay, so okay, so now I get it. Okay, I had it all wrong then. Um, there are basically. Okay, now I think I get to it. Is uh, I think that big room with all those teleporters in earlier there. Basically, just where like pick a teleporter and you get to a room and yeah, you will end up here because I remember ending up here in my first playthrough as well. Um, but yeah, let's just move on through here. Like, I do recognize, like, especially the second boss room with all the Bubble Man there, or Bubble Man, I do recognize that from a Kirby game, but that's on the Game Boy, like, basically Lolo and Lalala -la -la would uh, show up in the room and they would push around blocks and you would have to dodge them, basically. Um, and that was on Kirby's, Kirby's, uh, Kirby's Dreamland on the NES. Um, so, like, I have my suspicions that this might be from that game, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, yeah. And here we have some kind of... Oh! <laughs> here we have some kind of castle look here. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world that we fell there. Let's just get on back here. Nice. I kind of wish, like, it's the same thing here, I believe. Yeah, you, you just fly out and die there. It would have been cool if there was, like, a secret or something out there. That would have been pretty sweet, I think. Yeah, this here is kind of fun. If you go in there, you... <laughs> you get stuck. Uh, I actually did not want to do that. Uh, I was going to slide in and slide on out, but yeah, that was kind of silly. Okay, back here again. Let's just cut out the walk back there. Move up here. And whoa, that was crazy. Lemon. Uh, oh my. Okay, back here. Yeah, see, this fight here is. I, re I definitely recognize this fight here from the original Kirby game there. Um, like, Lolo and Lalala -la -la would come out on the side of the walls here and attack uh, Kirby. And yeah, I believe, you know, the Lalala -la -la and the Kirby games were both created by Hell Laboratory, so that's why they make cameos here in each other's games, basically. And I believe in Kirby's Dreamland 2, we had like a similar room, similar room to this as well, but it was like pigs or something running, you know, through the side of the vault here instead. Uh, yeah, something rather like that. Yeah, I also saw... <laughs> um, Late Night Mega play this stage, that was also a pretty fun playthrough to watch there. But yeah, like... Uh, it was an okay stage, I, I think it was at least, you know, Pretty fun to explore that, and yeah, I believe Late Night Mega said, you know, you know, maybe that's where I got my idea from. Actually, that, yeah, that 
that they were all optional and you could do them, but you didn't have to. And there was only one real passage. But yeah, that, that was probably where I got that from, from Late Night Mega. I think he said it would have been more interesting if you had to go around and pick up power-ups in all those extra rooms there. Yeah, maybe there was something like that and I got it mixed up. Either way, that doesn't really matter. Uh, this stage was definitely a lot more pleasant than the last one. They, yeah, the, the circus level was just kind of boring and stale in my opinion. The low, low, low castle here was much more entertaining to play too, so yeah. I will just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. Okay, I'm just gonna start it up the intro here. Um, we're gonna play some speedy stages today. I'm gonna be playing Horror Man, Blower Man, and Gear Devil, and just post them all in the same video here. And um, yeah, we gotta put our mouse pointer down on the bottom. I noticed that whenever I put it on the right side, like, like when I put it over here, like it's still showing up for you guys, but it's not showing up for me here in the full screen. So yeah, yeah, I think that if I just put it down to the bottom of the screen instead. Um, it should all be fine, basically. Um, do we? Nope. <laughs> we do not fall there. Okay. So what do we do? We use this, obviously. Okay. Go right on through, or right on over. And... <laughs> That's kinda cute. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go with Mega Man here. Go one more. Whoops! Ooh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Do we? Okay. No. That does not destroy the ice blocks. The Mega Man Five Buster. I know that. Like, <laughs> when you're standing on a Mega Man Ten ice block and you use the Chargeable Buster, you just destroy them from underneath you, or if you use the Super Proto Cannon, you know, since he, yeah, since Proto Man is a little bit shorter than Mega Man, he, his Super Cannon will also blow right through the ice blocks. And I don't think this is the main boss, is it? That would be a very short stage. Well, we'll see, I guess. We shall see. Bam! And yeah, that was just a midway boss, as expected. And another guy. And another one. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> what the heck? It's like we're playing a game of chicken, like, who won't jump over the other one's fireball, but yeah. Ferroman is just stubborn. This is probably the guy I'm gonna struggle with the most here. If I had to guess. And I just remembered something. We haven't really gotten a checkpoint or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if I might have to use weaknesses here. Well, that guy finally gets some health. Nightman, alright. What is that guy doing there over and over? He keeps like coming in and painting some things. Like, is it just for. <laughs> is it just for shit and giggles? Or. Is it signifying something? Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Dang it. Well, there we go. Thank you. And the boss gauntlet is over, and if you do need health, you have that there, I suppose. And we still haven't hit a checkpoint. Whew. Well, if I die, that would really suck. <laughs> really, really would suck, but yeah. Thank god. A checkpoint. Um, yeah, let's just let's just try out 
proto man here, but <laughs> but proto man, but bass, but why do we get bass if we? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's the point of bass if you just can't, or if you're not gonna be able to keep him? Maybe you had to jump down in a pit or something back there, and that way you could keep him. Maybe. That might be it. <laughs> wow, okay. This has been a very weird stage, I gotta say. Very, very weird. I'm just kind of wandering from one place to another. Well, more health refills here. Very nice, and are we gonna have another boss gauntlet here again? We might have another one. Well, at least this time we have a checkpoint, so, yeah. That's very nice. And look at that at the top, that guy is just... He's at it again. You know what, let's just... Let's just try and find his weakness, I don't really... Yeah. I don't feel like... Destroying this guy in this slow way, it's just gonna take forever. But yeah, um... <laughs> I made an okay stage, but it felt a little bit all over the place there. Is pretty much all I'm gonna say about it. Um, Yeah. I... I don't know. I think it could have done a little bit more. Let's see here. I don't mean to sound harsh, but... Yeah. Let's see. Let's try the next one here. But yeah, it felt like we kind of just walked from room to room and, you know, there was a boss sculpt and, and, you know, very empty rooms. Like, it was just, you know, you, you, once again, Speedy, try and mix up, you know, make more interesting room layouts because we mainly just, you know, walk horizontally from left to right. Um, like, you gotta try and surprise the player a little bit more, otherwise it gets stayed very fast. Yeah, <laughs> shit like <laughs> shit like this, uh, stuff like this. This is pretty cool. Uh, some kind of airships here that we're walking on makes for some pretty nice. Yeah, it, it's nice to see. Like it's interesting. Oh uh, yeah, see this here too. See this is already much better than the first stage. Like we have gimmick, proper gimmick usage here. Like yeah, and it looks pretty nice too. See this, this I can get behind. This is pretty nice. Yeah, this is looking already. Much better than the last stage, I personally think. Ooh. And some proper enemies here too, like the fan feeds fit in very well. Into the stage theme here. Rush yet. I wonder if we'll have a rush yet segment up here then, like where we just fly basically. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Very abrupt screen transition here. But yeah, we have the RJ symbol up there, so. Okay, we're just gonna see if we can't get some energy, but we could not. Well then, moving on. Whoa. Careful now. Nice. Let's save that there in case I... In case I wipe. That way it will still be there. Wait! Actually, no, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm thinking like in... Yeah. I'm thinking like... Ugh, I'm thinking I'm playing a regular Mega Man game here, but... Yeah. If you pick stuff up, then it won't respawn, huh? Right, and even some health here. Okay. Maybe we just wanna ride here on the top and shoot these guys when they spawn in. Yeah, see, now it's starting to get a little bit one-sided here again. 
Ooh, rush. Yeah, it's gonna get taken away here. Well, that's just gonna, the way it's gonna be then. But yeah, like the stage had a very nice start there, you know, where you had some gimmicks and uh, yeah, some a few cool jumps there. But now um, we're kind of just repeating the same thing over and over here. Um, yeah, see, okay, now we have something something new here, and I probably should not have left that. Hmm. Oh no! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Yeah. Should not have left. And look how far back we are. Oh no. Oh dear god. We are back at the ver Oh my, are you serious? Oh, Speedy, you gotta put in a shake point, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. That was so much to play. And see, here's another problem, like, if you get up here, like, you can't call down Rush yet here, like, Jesus. I hope I'm not dead here again. I'm dead again, oh my god. <laughs> Whew, okay, we're back here again. We should be at the ring platform here anytime now. Yeah, okay. Do not jump off this. Like, see, when you put the platform there, you kind of bait the player to, you know, perhaps want to try and jump there, but, like, then they end up screwing themselves. Um, yeah, that platform should not be there at all. That should just not... Yeah. It's just gonna cause players grief, and they are having to play it all over again. Okay, well, enough of me bitching here. Let's just... Let's just beat Windman. Uh, I'm a little bit torn about this stage here, like, I liked some of the rooms in here, but yeah... Yeah, whatever, we can give it a thumbs up, just, just barely. <laughs> just barely worth of a thumbs up in my opinion, like, there are definitely some things that needs to be uh, looked over in that one, since, you know, you can't really screw the player over there. Mm. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll give that one a thumbs up, the start looked really nice. Um, I just wish we had a checkpoint baked in there somewhere, um, like, yeah, the lack of checkpoint really can get frustrating there, especially with the ring platform at the very end, and, you know, I just kind of went there and, yeah, a platform, a platform reveals itself and you jump off on it and, yeah, yeah, it was just not a great time. Well, now we have a boss here. <clears throat> Is he weak to anything? Probably to this. Yeah, very nice. Well, that's what we're using then. Okay, well, maybe it was just a boss room. Pretty unique looking boss room. Not bad at all, I would say. I can give that one a thumbs up as well, that was pretty nifty. Okay, well, to recap, um, Horror Man was a bit bland um, throughout the stage there. Nothing really stood out at all, um, in my opinion. It was an okay stage, but yeah. Um, Blower Man was definitely a step in the right direction. Like, the beginning there was pretty cool, but yeah, it, it had some, yeah, it had some things that could have been changed up a little bit later on there and, you know, perhaps adding a checkpoint or something or other like that, and, you know, Gear Devil was a pretty neat boss fight there, yeah, cool, a cool boss concept. So yeah, I will just leave it at that, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day. Okay, here we are playing Undying Flame by Brutti Deluxe, um... Yeah, let us see here. 
Got some pretty nice shells going on here. Pretty clean looking, and let's not go just yet. And nice. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's just a bonus like in Mega Man 4 and Pharaoh Man stage there. Pretty much. Whoa. <laughs> I guess it was just but yeah, I guess that was just an introduction to show that they will indeed explode the crates there. <laughs> and can we? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Well, <laughs> cutting back. I don't know, like. Yeah, let's just cut back here. Like, like you did here, but um, if you just end the, you know, ladder above the water and not have it going down through it, like, it makes it, you know, you know, that way the player will know that for sure this is a instant death pit, um, instead of having the ladder, you know, going down into the water there, like here, like, see, it kind of looks, well, I thought for sure there would be a secret room down there, but yeah. Like, if that ladder would have just ended here or something instead, that would have been, yeah, telling me not to go down there. Not that it's a big deal, but, you know, just something to think about, I guess. And, oh, 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 oh. run! Oh my goodness, run! <laughs> the floor would disappear if you stand along, around for too long there. Oh, geez, now it's really getting harder. Hurry! Hurry! <laughs> wow! Huh. I don't need that. Let's just run for dear life. I gotta admit, I'm doing pretty well here. I just kind of sped around that. And we're in space, fighting Grenade Man. And yeah, I don't know if I said so, but we do not have the chargeable buster, so yeah. This is gonna take me a little bit to destroy this dude here. should have him now. I had a rough start there, but I took a lot of grenade hits, but yeah, once I got into the swing things, he went down like a champ. But yeah, overall a pretty nice stage. Oh. The stage was a little bit flat, but like very nice visuals and enemies that fit into the theme of the level, so yeah, overall I'd say this is definitely worth a thumbs up. It was a nice, a nice job done there on this stage, Undying Flame. Yeah. Pretty good stuff all around, Verti Deluxe, so yeah, I'll just leave it at that, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. Alright, here we are playing some Ninja Levels by Furu Furu, and I already played this one, um, so I know what I'm doing here, kind of. Um, I actually tried to record this, but yeah, the recording failed, so yeah, <laughs> I have to re redo it. Don't worry though, this is only for the first stage that you submitted for free, the other one will be uh, blind, but yeah. So yeah, this level here is basically a bunch of quick jumps, it definitely feels very ninja-esque if you will, and basically if you want the best ending, you gotta keep all your, yeah, you gotta keep all your keys or else you won't be able to climb to the top, so as you can see now I had to use a key here in order to clear that since I fail it. Um, I haven't actually done this perfectly. Oh, it's really hard actually to do this final challenge, you know, flawlessly and yeah. But this is 
you know, the first two challenges of the year are... They are pretty easy, I would say. Like, you can pretty much... Yeah, if you just go, you can pretty much do it always. Um, and the second one isn't too bad either. It's a little bit trickier in the first one, but just barely. And here is where shit hits the fan. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I don't know. I just had to abandon that one. That is really tricky to do perfectly. I can never really see myself doing it, but I would have to play. I would have to play this over so many times. <laughs> Dang it! Before I would actually get it. Hmm. But yeah, see, I kind of wish that we had a checkpoint after each one. Um, you know, just so that we got to try, like... I mean, I, I realize there are no checkpoints to prevent cheating, but yeah. So, it is basically how you rate yourself, so... Yeah, obviously I don't know what's at the top there, but yeah, I got a score of 2 out of 4, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so... A a medio a mediocre ninja there. I mean, it's a neat stage. Um, but yeah, once again, I would have liked to see some checkpoints there as well. I had some checkpoints there as well. Let's just go here. And boot up the next one. Ninja hideout, water ninjutsu. 10th place and a score of negative 1. So yeah, I don't know how this one will work. Walter Ninjutsu. And I'm dead already. Hmm. That was pretty interesting though. Yeah. <laughs> when you see the lightning flash there you have. Yeah. Huh. Now this is a unique. I'll definitely say that. Oh my god, but this is gonna take a long as well. Uh <laughs> Yeah, even though this is very cool, like, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take so much time, depending on how long this goes on for anyway. Oh yeah, nice. Got it, and there might be more hidden, yeah. Nice. I think we just dropped down here, but okay, yeah, right below us. Yeah, so this is gonna be a very slow one. Very, very slow one. <laughs> I kind of wish we had a weapon, you know, like a Gemini laser or something, so that you could poke around, you know. To speed this up a little bit. Basically some weapon that can detect where stuff is. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if the third barrier there did not have a block to stand on, that would have been kind of funny. <laughs> just, yeah, I would have just fell. Fell to my doom. Yeah, not gonna chance. I'm just gonna wait. And another checkpoint. At least we have plenty of checkpoints here. Yeah. Improper checkpoints in a stage like this would definitely turn the mood of players sour very fast, I can only imagine. Oh, dude, this is sick. Hmm. So you could probably use the flash dumper there, you know, to make it easier, but I can give it a shot or two.
Ooh, I made it. <laughs> Without the flash dumper. That was only my third or fourth attempt too. That wasn't too hard actually, but yeah, pretty cool segment. Dang it! <laughs> I tried to flash or stop the time like yeah, when the flash is on basically. Oh, I wonder if you can do that. Like, stop time as it's flashing up there. And yeah, we're definitely gonna freeze time here. Uh, <laughs> I don't see how you would get through that otherwise. That would just be a massacre. <laughs> I guess to be a real ninja in this stage, you need to get through this <laughs> without the bright stopper. <laughs> oh my god! Don't ask me how I just went through there without dying. I couldn't answer you. Holy crap. Hmm. Well, <laughs> the pump shield is definitely a very appropriate weapon for this. And they are dead. Yeah, I'll definitely say I think I think this stage was more interesting than the first one. The first one was just kind of like a trial and error stage, which was kind of neat, but and it's funny because this one got got a negative one. I mean, I can kind of see why it would get a negative one. Like, it's very slow there in the start. Maybe like once again, if. There could have been more, you know, invisible blocks to walk on there, like, to speed it up a little bit, because it did, you know, it really did drag out and it wasn't... I mean, it was cool, but it wasn't necessarily fun to interact with either all the way there. Um, or maybe if the whole stage, you know, was in water. I don't know. Like, it's definitely a very cool concept, and uh, yeah, that water or rain segment at the end there definitely was my favorite part, that was really... Ninja-esque, if you will. That was, yeah, <laughs> that was really awesome. So yeah, uh, this one was definitely my favorite stage after the two. 100% in my opinion. So yeah, very nice job there, Furu Furu, on the Ninja level. So yeah, thank you guys. Well, <laughs> God, that was abrupt. Um, <laughs> I'll just round it off with that. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.